Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create a star rating system for your game in GDevelop 5. If you've been following this channel for some time now, um, you've noticed that I've made a tutorial on this in the past, which is how to create a star rating system. And for that tutorial, we made use of events to achieve this well, for this tutorial, we're making use of one extension. Yes, just one extension. So this would save you and me the time of having to add in sprites with multiple animations and then having to create actions and conditions to change the animation of the sprites. So with that said, let's begin. Okay, for this tutorial, we're making use of a GDevelop example, which is the platformer example. So let's set into, oh, I'm sorry, create a new project and then platformer. There you go. So the first thing you need to do now is add the extension. The name of the extension is star rating and and you can install that by going into your project manager, functions and behaviors and then search for new extension. So let's search up um star here. There we go. So this is the extension and a star rating indicated by stars using the shape painter. Okay, so let's install this and select. And this is the version of behavior to turn a shape painter into a rating system indicated by stars. So installing project. Okay, so let's close back and close. Okay, so we now have that installed in our project. So we can head into our new scene, which we're currently in now. In the description of this extension, it states that it converts a shape painter object into stars. So we need to add a shape painter object. So let's go into our object and then scroll to the bottom and add a new object. So the object we'll be adding is this object shape painter. So select this and I'll just name this star. There we go and apply. So let's pull this into the scene and we have this. So I'll place this on the GUI layer, which is the layer that follows the screen. We have this on the GUI layer. We have the controls on the GUI layer. We have this also on the GUI layer. So I'll place our star on the GUI layer. So select the layer and then GUI. Okay. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you don't miss future uploads like this. So next, let's go into our events. So in our event, we're making use of the scene variable score, which stores the score of the player. So we make use of this and um, let's scroll to the bottom and add our very own event. Okay, so we now have all this and now let's add a condition. Let's start add a condition at the beginning of the scene. Okay, and let's add an action. Let's select our star. Um, okay, so we forgot to add the behavior to this star object. So let's go back, cancel, it's back to our new scene, and then star object behaviors, add a behavior. We need to add the behavior which we installed, the extension we installed, which is this star rate. So add that. And um, so here you can see some properties for the star. We have the number of points on star by default. So just set this to five and star rotation zero degrees size 32 would do the spacing between the stars and this is the total number of stars which are checked and this is the total number of stars now you can take a look at this by running a preview so there you go this is the three stars and these are the five stars total you can also change the color of it right here but for this tutorial we would leave it like this so close and apply now let's head into our events. Now this amazing extension by Entropy comes with two actions and no condition. So we have this at the beginning of the scene. Now let's add an action. And here are the two actions which come with this extension. We have the set the rating and set total star count. The by default, the total star count is five and the rating is set to three. So let's set this first. Let's select and set this to five. Okay. The next thing we need to do is add an action and select the object star and then set the rating. 
At the beginning of the scene, we want the rating to be set to zero, which is no stars would be highlighted or set in gold. So, okay. Now, next part is that we need to make use of the value we have stored in our score scene variable. So, add a condition and then let's get a variable. It's the scene variable. So, value of a scene variable. The variable name is score sign set to equals to. And for this, we'll be using a value we'll be using 300, 600, 900, 1000, 100, and 1300 for the score. Because in this scene right here, the sum of the total coins will give you 1300. So, 1300 will give you 5 stars in this game. So, let's go back into new scene events and add um for this the scene variable so let's set this once the scene variable score is set to 300 add an action let's get our uh, object star and set the rating let's set this to one so once this is true let's give our rating add one to the stars so let's copy and paste so next once it's 600 so 600 let's set the rating to two um next paste once it's 900 let's set the rating to three okay um paste again so once it's a thousand one hundred let's set the rating to four and once it's a thousand three hundred let's set the rating to five sorry about that and five now this should work perfectly and I would have to delete an action which adds to the score once the player kills the enemies. It adds 50 to the score and you can find this in the project manager, um, enemies management. So I'll be deleting this because I want the score to be um, 300, to go 100, 100, 100. Um, when you get the coin, I don't want it to go into 150, 350 and stuff like that. So new scene and... Yeah, basically that's it. So let's preview this. And here we have our player. We have this stars following the screen because we placed it in the GUI layer. So they would follow the screen. So let's go. Q. And there we go. So 300, we get our first star. Um, 600, we get our second star. There you go. And 900. 900 we get our third star and at the thousand one hundred sorry about that a thousand one hundred we get our fourth star and a thousand three hundred we get all five stars so there you go that's how easy it is to create a star rating system in gdevelop 5 with this amazing extension by entropy um, thanks for the extension and thank you for watching so if you found this tutorial useful don't forget to like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next gdevelop 5 tutorial thanks for watching bye